Hello and welcome to KennyRoy.com. I'm Kenny Roy. This is the Ask Video Mail for the week of June 6, 2011. Thank you for being inside. Thank you for coming and uh, welcome. Uh, don't forget, the Ask Video Mail is your chance to get your question in character animation or performance answered in a video like this one. If you haven't sent a question in, now is definitely the time to. Uh, please take advantage of this. It's a lot of fun to do, and I think you'll... Uh, I think if you've never done it before and you get your question asked or answered on video, uh, it's, a, it's a really great way to get the most out of the site. So uh, check it out. Send your questions to webmaster at kennyroy.com. I go through all the questions. I answer the ones I think will help the most people every single week. So uh, this is the uh, video mail that I recorded a little bit ahead of time because I didn't want there to be any lapse in the video mails while I'm moving offices. So thank you for bearing with me. Um, I'm not actually here right now. This is not where I am. Kind of creepy, right? Uh, anyway, so again, thank you for bearing with me. Um, um, and, uh, and here we go. So this, uh, this week's video mail uh, is very interesting. Let's, let's check out the question. So, when you are looking at video reference for a performance shot, like a character, you know, biped, human character, right? A lot of, a lot of times, and I, I think I've gone over this in a video mail before, a lot of times what you're looking for are the things that you can't find, you know, just by acting it out and trying to look at it, your, you know, look at yourself or do it, or maybe you don't really know, you know, how to really perform it yourself, so you look for video reference. A lot of it has to do with nuance and a lot of subtle things. But when you're looking at animal reference, I find it is best to go with, to, to stick a, take a step back if you can and look at, if you can, the biggest things that you can possibly point out. And don't even, don't even try to go into the subtlety. Why? Because we are... We're, we're tragically bad at um, picking up, especially fast animal movement, um, just f by observing it. In fact, um, I can't recommend the Animals and Creatures uh, Masterclass at Animation Mentor enough. It has completely opened my eyes um, to the world of, of animal movement. It is just amazing, and I'm, I'm super dedicated to, to animal reference now. And I just wanted to impart impart that on you just a little bit. Um, so you should definitely, if you're interested in animals or creatures at all, it is basically the ILM slash Tippet um, designed program, basically. And uh, it, it'll really whip you into shape. So check that out. Um, but I wanted to say, when, you're, when, when we're watching, like for instance, a lot of people don't know that a lion and a horse and a hippo have completely different walk cycles. Now you'd say that okay, well they'll be they'll be a little bit different because they're diff completely different weights, but literally they are night and day different. The footfall pattern, the stride, what what leg is is up off the ground at a time? Uh, it's it's insane. It's insane. So. Um, I don't want to go too much into one specific creature, but I will just we'll take a look at a horse, and I'll point out what I would be looking for um, if I was looking at uh, this kind of reference. Okay, so here's a shot. This is in the video reference library that is in a Dropbox, and if you want the link to this, um, ask me for it, and I'll send you an email, and you can sign up to Dropbox and, and get access to this video reference library that people are putting together. All right, so there goes the horse. Um, let's start very, very big. The first thing I'm looking at is how much up and down are we getting in the, the horse's body? Luckily, we have this bar right here. And right now, like, the bar is going through the tail and basically just above where the neck meets the chest, okay? And then, yeah, it dips a little bit 
it dips a little bit. Uh, basically, the, 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 the butt was up a little bit, and on the stretch pose, the, uh, the neck is down uh, a, a little bit as well. So basically, we, you probably could have imagined that, but if this is the chest and these are the hips, you know there's a little bit of this going on, as well as a little bit of up and down. So we, we want to know what is the overall movement, basically, of the biggest mass. Okay, and then the second thing is how are the feet, how are the feet falling? And one thing that I really love about this is that I, I didn't know until I saw it right now that when a horse is galloping like this, look how close together basically um, in uh, Z the front paw and the back paw, front, the, 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 the back right hoof and the back left hoof are. You see that? So they kind of fly together, but then when they land, the, the right one really extends. Look how extended that is, and look how many frames it's extended for. It basically, boop, locks out right there, and then lands, okay? But watch that back left hoof. It basically takes this trajectory that's super, super, super long, and they really separate. So I found that very interesting, that when he comes off, the, lifts his, his hooves up, and he's flying through the air, that they kind of fly together, but then they really separate and scissor right there. Also, let's count how many frames. I know this is a, this is a slow motion shot, but let's just count how many frames there are with the hoof on the ground. Basically hits about right here, so 321, and it lifts up, I would say, about right here, 415. So it's about, looks like it's about 100 frames on the ground. Let's watch that back left one now. Hits about right here, 386, and it's up maybe right here, 478. Okay, so it's down, it's down slightly shorter, it looks like, just slightly, than um, the, the back right. And the same thing, but not as much, uh, happens to those, those front hooves. See how they're flying kind of together? A little bit more separated in Z than the, than the back legs are. But look at that, look how they, you know, they place. So the first thing you look at is that major body movement. Second thing you look at is the footfall pattern, all right? So in one cycle, it goes back right, back left, front right, front left, okay? And the, um, the, the back leg, both of the back legs have landed before the front legs have landed. Okay, so it's different for like a cat walk cycle. A cat, for instance, um, does a foot replacement walk. Okay, it's a lateral walk and you go back left, front left, back right, front right. So this is different. A, a horse run is, is, is different than that. So you pick up the footfall pattern and then you move on to um, some of the poses. Okay, look how, how crunched up or, or bent that, that leg is. It's really bent up, all right? It is probably the, the reason for that is it, it really has to get it off the ground and it has to um, like whip it out so that it can um, place nice and strong as far ahead of the horse as possible. If you look at the end here, it's kind of hard to see. Let's see if at the beginning it's a little bit easier to see. No. If you look at the end here, just look how extended those front legs are. I mean, it's almost completely extended. It almost looks like a like a, a tripod, you know, rolling over like that. You know, you're getting very little, you know, bent knee like push off of that. You're really getting a lot of that power um, um, up here in the shoulders.
right? And the, the uh, um, you know, most of the power is in the shoulders and the, in the front legs, and it, but in the back legs, you can see from where the muscle distribution, there's a little bit more muscle, you know, down here, which is basically his calf muscle. This is his ankle, and that's the foot, okay? Um, and the knee is up here. So you get big, 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 big quads and hamstrings and uh, a, a much bigger calf than you have forearm muscle, right? So that also tells you where the power is coming from. Okay, so let's, let's contrast this with an ostrich walk cycle. This is very interesting because an ostrich is biped and it, people say like, it, oh, it has backwards bending knees, but that's not true. Okay, one thing you need to make sure is that you're aware of the anatomy. Now, I wouldn't go so far as to be, you know, learning the names of the bones or drawing the bones or anything like that. But the way that uh, a bird leg works is that the knee is kind of up here. It's kind of like all underneath their skin and it's covered by feathers and it's hard to see. But there is a knee up here and the knee bone is right here. And this, this big joint right here, that's not a backwards bending knee, that's a normally bent foot or, or ankle. And then down here we have basically your, um, your, your foot bones and then the, the very ends of your foot bones. All right, so they actually just have really long foot bones. Basically how it works, okay? And so it walks on its toes, but one thing you'll notice again is that the right here it's pretty extended. And not only is it is it extended, but it, it does to me kind of feel like he's a little bit falling onto that foot. It doesn't feel like a, a prowl, you know, as you know, like a like the feline world as much as it is a little bit of like a bounce that's that's happening um, him falling onto that foot um, very 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 steady um, luckily again we have a nice like line right here that we can compare the the evenness of the body um, very very steady a little bit of up and down but overall you know not a huge amount of up and down what that means is that you're going to be limited to the, the length of stride you can take. You can't take a really big stride that makes him really dip down when he takes that step. You are limited to how far you can spread the feet apart. Okay? Um, and then looking at little details like, you know, look at that head. The head, it's, it's not a normal, basically, chicken walk where the head is, is really kind of like counter animated to the chicken. It actually has, it's almost like a two phase uh, chicken walk where like it takes two steps and then it moves its head forward. So it looks actually kind of like random head forward and back movement to me. Um, but a little, but generally forward and back. You'll see that he keeps his head parallel as he's walking. It, it's always, you know, parallel to his body in the ground. And a little bit of head darting. And there you go. So overall, you're looking at bigger things and, and then working in. Whereas with, with, when you're watching it, a reference for like an acting shot, you're pretty much taking everything. You're taking like the pose and like all the way down to like the way the fingers move and whatever. With, with, with these, you want to have sort of like just categorized details. How much up and down movement in the body? How fast does he walk forward? Um, what is the footfall pattern? And from those gross details, you'll get a really close approximation of the movement that you, you want to get. And then and only then should you even worry about little details. Like ostriches have really gnarly, almost like, almost like uh, dinosaur feet. And they're really meaty and whatever. And when they, when they hit, they really splay out. Those toes really spread apart. 
and when they lift up, they kind of come up like this and, and almost make a little bit of a, you know, like a catcher's mitt. It's really cool. That kind of detail you want to definitely save to the end because the, the overall walk has to look great, okay, to sell it. Um, and the last thing I want to say is that definitely when you're doing any kind of non-human creature at all, anytime, you have to go very, very, very deep into reference. Um, we are, if you've chosen animation as a career path, you you've, uh, obviously have some interest in performance, and you're probably really good at you know, physicality and, and, and observing human behavior and all these things. So you have a great head start on your performance work, but probably not as strong with um, animals. So uh, just take that into consideration. Okay, um, that was a great question. Thank you for that question. Please send in a question if you haven't already. It's very easy. You just send an email to webmaster at kennyroy.com with your question, and, um, and, and I go through all of them, and I answer the one I think will help the most people. It's a great way to get the most out of the site, and I hope you take advantage of it if you haven't yet. Uh, next video email should be in the new office, so uh, wish me luck uh, packing everything up and and uh, getting over there. So uh, that'll do it. Good luck with your animation, and as always, rock on.